Well done, boys. They all seem to be in fine working order. John loves a pitchfork. Quite often says, why do we bother with a straw chopper? Yeah, every day. Every day. I will leave her there then. She's like, ow, my ear. Right, morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, just like to say thank you to all the new members that have joined recently, all the new subscribers. Um, the channel seems to be growing rapidly at the minute, which is amazing. Um, every day we're going up 20, 30, 40 subscribers, which is just awesome. Getting uh, a lot of people interested in what we're doing here on the farm. So today's video is a bit of a strange one. Um, I didn't actually do any of the filming really of what I intended to. Uh, so yesterday we had the vet come and semen test our bulls ahead of the new breeding season. Um, so that's what I was going to film and we did film a little bit of it. But, um, we had some other stuff happen along the way which uh, ended up taking over. What you're going to see is us um, with one of our beef animals that was in our sheds at Rowden, which is our science farm, um, that has had a calf, which was obviously not intended. Um, it turns out that the heifer, who is only 13 months old, would have been caught by the bull when she was about four months old uh, whilst the bull was in with the cows last year. I'd be interested to know if anyone has ever had the same thing happen. If you run a suckler herd, obviously when we put the bulls out um, for breeding, they get a, a nine week stint with the cows whilst they've still got their calves at foot. Um, and some of those calves, the oldest ones, will be between four and five months old at the time. So what must have happened with this one in this case is that the bull served the heifer when she was four months old. She must have had a heat and, uh, and had a viable pregnancy. So she's calved, she calved on her own. She's absolutely fine. The calf is absolutely fine. Um, but you'll see us discover that calf uh, in, the, in the footage you're about to see, which was yesterday as I'm speaking now. So here's the footage, hope you enjoy it. Um, any comments you have, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try and get back to you and uh, yeah. Enjoy the video. Yickety yak. He's bollocks, he disappeared, look. He's sucked right back in. Technical term. <laughs> Suck the mean. <laughs> right Such a big neck is. Uh... Here he comes. Come on, buddy. No. Come on. Like okay. <laughs> What's that? Come on. Oh, I see. Uh... Very good. Come on, big man. <laughs> Says the same thing. What was that? <laughs> Dribbling. <laughs> How's it going, John? Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> well done, boys. They all seem to be in fine working order. <laughs> oh, I know the number will be on WhatsApp. We've got an animal in this shed. Or her number. That we think might have been served by the bull when it was very, very young. Um, she's obviously not ideal. So we're going to hoik it out whilst the vet's here and get her to check him over, or we'll check her over, I should say. Two, three, five, nine. Two, three, five, nine, I just... Two, three, five, nine, where are you? Uh, it's the one with the little calf stood in front of it. <laughs> I'm not taking the piss, there is a calf. Are you kidding? So it is. It's the size of Gus. Yeah. Honestly. You're, you're taking the piss. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, there it is. There's a mother's meeting going on here. Well, the vet doesn't really need to check yeah. it now, because... <laughs> My goodness me. She was four months old. Yeah, when I mean, that's calm. nothing to be proud of at all, but... Uh, How would you do? My spaniel's bigger than that calf. But it looks like it's... Well, what can you do other than take it home? It's fine, isn't it? He looks fine. Welcome to the herd, cow. It's boosted me average. Cool. <laughs> so this is a platform animal, so it's on the science ones, but obviously these animals were running with their mothers when the bulls were in serving them again for this time round. And that animal would have been, what do you reckon, about four months old? Four months old. Four months old and the bull must have served it. So is it, this, this isn't due to anything that doesn't happen normally? No. That tiny little calf, look at him. We'll have to name it. Is it a bee? 
Yeah. Little bull calf. Oh, Paolo. We could call it Paolo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one is it? It's the one with the calf in front of it. Well, good on you, Cal, for uh, having that. We were going to get the vet to look at it and sort of decide what the best thing was to do, but mine's been you know, decided for us. I'm probably stood right in the way here as well. Here you go. It's all right. Well done, mother. It's all right. It's all right. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, if you don't, I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> well, we just have to take it home, I suppose, don't we? That's it. Who took a piece of decent size eh? She has got a bag, actually, as yeah. well. She... And some milk. Yeah, that's right, Phil. It is determined to go yeah. next door. Right, we're going to put up a bale barrier there because we can't drop those gates. We'll get some bales. Yep. There he goes. Perfect. Right. Uh, well we solved the problem. Oh is he out here? Is he right. calf? Yeah, she's calf. <laughs> There's a calf the size of a small spaniel there. Hello, little cat. Hello. You're a bit of a surprise, aren't you? We're as surprised as you. Seems quite happy though. What a mum. John loves a pitchfork. Quite often says, why do we bother with a straw chopper? Yeah, every day. Every day. Yeah, I really fancy chucking two tonnes straw around with a fork. No, I've, I've got nothing for you, but she has. <laughs> Lovely bit of stuff, yeah. We'll take it home tomorrow, but it's nearly five o'clock now. We've got to get these balls back across the road yet. Hey, there he is. Come on, mother. Well done. Looking all right. Got some milk on it. Oh. He looks bigger than he did yesterday. He's filled up, isn't he? <laughs> he was over there. Over there. Oh, that's right. Jump into the door. <laughs> so I have made a mistake here. Glad with intelligence. <laughs> he was over, when I went over there. He was sucking, and when I went over the gate, then he was it's sucking. A, well, at least he knows where the yeah. where the feed is. <laughs> oh. Okay. So go and join the others. Okay. In Again. the crash. Oh yes. <laughs> it's a skippy little thing. We'll tag him in a minute. She carved last night. Good old psycho Hereford. He'll never go on anyone's teeth, that one.
We've named him Paolo. Paolo the calf. I mean, I don't, I don't think we should aim to breed them that no, young. No, I don't think it's going to be a thing to <laughs> carve at one. <laughs> yeah, take your luck where you can get it. Exactly. All right, we need to tag this cow with an EID tag. Tag her calf. We've got a tag. Paolo, mini me down there. And uh, then we can go home for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little star, isn't he? He is. You have a very pink little nose. You like your chin being rubbed? Oh, you can be friendly, Paolo. Friendly. Right. Come back for you in a minute. You do right. some running around. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. I might take you off the pelvis. You're telling me that she is a uh, feral. Oh. She chased me over a gate last year. What would make it easy, cows, if you put your head through there, but it doesn't always go like that. Lovely work. Oh, easy. I will leave her there then. She's like, ow my ear. You go, Paolo! Yes! <laughs> Meow. Hello, Cam. Right, go on, bud. Go on. Right, you stay there. We'll get this little man tagged. Here comes Paolo. <coughs> what do you reckon, man? I reckon 26 kilos. Thanks, 27.6. You girt thing. Right, let's see if your tag works. Now this cow might not be on our system because she's not, su not supposed to be in car. Pedro Paolo. P-A-U-L-O. Paolo. <laughs> Paolo would like that, wouldn't he? Yeah, Paolo, you got your name on a tag. Which is, sounds like a good mum. John's just harvesting testicles. He's coming back, mother! There he goes. Oh, Tommy. You want to come out, Count? She doesn't know that small compared to... No. Okay. Yes, Which one is it? Um, maybe it's the one with, with the calf still in front of it. Stop taking the piss. Taking the piss. Three more, three more happy calves. How many left then, John? Oh. Uh, is that not the same number? Well, we know the one next door is definitely not in calf. That's true. So that's one less. We know you're not in calf. You freeloader. And the friendly one's not in car, is she? No. Ah. Eleven left to carve. They're dragging it out, aren't they? They have one more week. And the end of next week you get the vet to Yeah. Re PD them just to make sure they are in car. See what's what. Because really, there should only be another 10 days or so for them to actually carve. Yeah. Maybe two weeks. I think it's the last date, in theory, is the 6th of April. 7-3. Mm. But that one's added up a lot. Yeah. And that one's got a lot of added now as well. And horny cows are doing up as well. I'm saving up for the weekend. Yeah, look at the bag on it. Whereas this one here is just... Very really same cow, isn't it? You're a nice cow, you are. He's a very good calf. This one had a. We don't know if it was a stillborn calf or she lied on her calf or, or what, what happened. happened. But we found her with a calf that was not alive. So. Right. Weekend. 
So I probably ought to explain why we've named the car Paolo. Um, there's a guy that works here, mainly on the science side of the farm, or on the science side of the uh, institute, who is leaving. His name is Paolo, and we're all very fond of him. He does some work with Phil and the green feeds over at Rowden. And yesterday, so Thursday, we had a uh, barbecue with him. Craig fired up the workshop barbecue, um, because he's leaving next week. And we had the barbecue with him yesterday. We went over and we discovered the calf had been born and we thought we'd just tie it all in. We'll name it Paolo. Uh, he watches the video, so it'll be something for him to be uh, watching and just a fun little thing for us to carry along with. So that's why we've named the calf Paolo. Uh, it'll be an interesting one to follow on the channel as he gets older and as he grows, because he's only 27 kilos and he wasn't expected. So uh, it'll, it'll definitely be becoming a pet. But yeah, that's why we called the calf Paolo. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. Um, visit all the links in the description for all my other socials if you want to check those out. There's also a link to become a member if you want to. Thank you to everyone who has become a member. Thank you to everyone that's buying merch. We've got some more to ship out um, this weekend. And uh, yeah, see you guys in another video very soon. Cheerio.